Janet, based on the symptoms that you described to me, I think that an upper GI endoscopy should be performed. Could you tell me what that's all about, Dr. Dean? An upper GI endoscopy is an examination of the upper gastrointestinal tract, from your throat down to just past your stomach. This procedure lets your doctor or gastroenterologist see a detailed view of your entire upper digestive tract to correctly diagnose or treat any problems you may be having. The digestive tract is the system in your body that takes in food, absorbs its nutrients, and gets rid of waste. When food enters the upper part of your digestive system, it travels down your esophagus and into your stomach where acids and digestive juices mix it up and break it down. The food then travels to the duodenum, where it's broken down further and passed into the lower digestive tract. Your doctor will use a long, thin tube called a video endoscope to see inside your upper digestive tract. Various controls allow your doctor to move the scope around curves, showing a complete picture of your upper digestive system. The endoscope has a tiny camera and light on one end that sends pictures back to a video screen. Your doctor will watch the video screen to look for inflammation, redness or irritation, ulcers, and bleeding. If your doctor sees any of these abnormalities, he can use tools passed through the end of the scope to repair damage or take tissue samples. There are a variety of reasons why your doctor will recommend you have an upper GI endoscopy. Some of these include gastroesophageal reflux disease, Barrett's esophagus, a condition where acid from your stomach splashes up into the esophagus, persistent nausea or vomiting, upper abdominal pain or acid reflux symptoms, like a burning sensation in the throat or chest, vomiting blood or blood in the stool, difficulty swallowing, lump in the throat, chronic cough, or hoarseness, or to check for ulcers. There are very few risks of this procedure. It is really very safe. An endoscopy is a safe procedure, and complications are rare, but can occur. Possible complications include perforation or tearing of the tissue being examined, bleeding, pneumonia, or you may have a reaction to the sedative medication. Make sure you tell your doctor about any allergies you have, especially ones to medication. Most patients and doctors feel the benefits of an endoscopy far outweigh the risks. Properly preparing for this procedure is very important. There are many effective preparation methods. Your doctor will decide what methods are best for you. Ask him any questions you may have and follow his instructions. You may be told not to eat or drink anything 8 to 10 hours before the procedure because the endoscope cannot see through digesting food. This will also reduce the risk of some complications. Tell your doctor what medications you are taking. He may ask you to stop taking them or change them a few days before your endoscopy. On the day of the exam, arrive at the hospital or your doctor's office wearing comfortable clothing. Before the procedure, you may have to take off your glasses or remove your contact lenses and dentures. You will put on a hospital gown. Your doctor will ask you to sign a consent form before the procedure. A mild sedative is given to you through an intravenous needle in your arm. This medication will make you sleepy and relaxed. Your blood pressure and pulse will be monitored. Extra oxygen may be given to you throughout the examination. You may be given medication to gargle or a numbing spray to numb your throat. The nurse will help you to lie on your left side. A plastic guard called a bite block will be placed in your mouth to keep it open and to prevent damage to your teeth or to the scope. You will be asked to swallow the endoscope when it is put in your mouth. 
the medications you have been given make swallowing the tube easy for almost all patients. Remember to take slow, deep breaths through your nose to help you relax. The scope will not get in the way of your breathing. Your doctor will guide the scope down your esophagus and into your stomach. Air is pumped through the scope to inflate the esophagus, stomach, and duodenum. This keeps the digestive tract open, giving your doctor a clear view while the tube is carefully guided. Endoscopy is a painless procedure, but you may feel mild discomfort from this air. It will not harm you, and later you can belch to relieve the pressure it causes. This is video taken during an endoscopy. As you can see, your doctor will have a clear view of the lining of your upper gastrointestinal tract. If your doctor sees any inflammation or growth, a biopsy can be performed. A brush or forceps passed through the scope can remove a tiny bit of tissue that is then sent to a lab. And if there is any bleeding from an ulcer, your doctor can use a heat probe or medication to stop it. Your endoscopy should take between 10 and 30 minutes to complete. After the scope is removed, you will be moved to a recovery room until the medication wears off. This will usually take about an hour, but you may still feel sleepy. Even if you feel awake, your judgment and reflexes could be slowed, so you must have someone drive you home after the procedure. Do not return to work, drive machinery, including your car, drink alcohol, or sign legal documents until the next day. Because of the medication you have been given, you may not remember the procedure. Other minor side effects include bloating from the air that was pumped into your system during the procedure. You may have a mild sore throat, and you may feel tired and have trouble concentrating. Although complications are rare, if you notice severe abdominal pain, not just cramps, a firm bloated abdomen, vomiting or nausea, fever or sweating, severe sore throat or the beginning of a new cough, dizziness or fainting, or black tar-like stool, contact your doctor immediately. When you feel more awake, your doctor will discuss the results of your endoscopy with you. If any tissue samples were taken, you may have to wait for the lab results to come back for a full and accurate evaluation. Your doctor will give you instructions on how to care for yourself when you get home, including what medications to take. Don't overdo it. Start out eating lightly and gradually increase the amount of food you eat. An upper gastrointestinal endoscopy is a serious procedure, but it is necessary to find the source of your discomfort. Relax and feel confident that you are protecting your health today and for the future.